Hey. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode two of the Black Atlas Show, aka the only podcast that cares about what you care about. That's amazing. We got a slogan. That's the thing now, if you couldn't tell. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to stick with that. Hopefully, it works out. So, we're much more organized this time around, and we have divided this show into segments. And the first segment is called This Time Last Week. I wasn't supposed to actually say that. That's fine. That's it's okay. Fun. I actually like it being... Announced? Like, like as yeah. a title? It has, has like some rain. Like... Rain? Like, like... Little, like I don't know. I lost. I don't know. Any I sound lost. The, I lost the sound effect. I I'll definitely, probably, maybe, hopefully, <laughs> throw in a sound effect oh, wait, that wait, possibly wait. Are oh. we gonna keep rolling off that one? Or? No. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna keep going. Yeah. Okay, yeah, my fault. Gonna, <laughs> we're no, we're going. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Who cares? Okay. So, um, basically, we're just gonna catch up everything that has happened since the last episode, which was actually two weeks, but we're just gonna pretend like it was one week. Um, two weeks ago. Man. Yeah, you seen so, Black Panther last we, Yeah, that, that's probably <laughs> the biggest thing that happened. We did see Black Together. Panther. That was All such, of us. That was such a bittersweet uh, moment, guys. It was. Yeah, it was a great movie to me. How did you guys feel about it? it wish was cool. it was a little bit better. I wish it was Not a lot lie. better. What, 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 what are your critiques are are to make that movie? I feel like people are going to get mad at me for saying People that. can get talk mad at me, shit, too. Bro. I feel the same. Talk your shit. I, what do you fucking say? I don't have shit your, to talk what necessarily. What are your critiques on it? I just feel like it d- should have been better. What would you it change about it? The pace that of the movie. Action. The number one. Definitely the action. There's that. not that's enough that's Black number Panthers. One. That's the number one that. conversation. There's too much T'Challa, yeah. King of Wakanda. I don't think he did enough. So like, it could have been called T'Challa, King of Wakanda. like three people in the entire movie. I was supposed to pop this open. That was our soda can. Yeah. For you guys paying attention. For the ten of you that saw the last episode. <laughs> but yeah. So we're throwback. It was a great I thought it was a great movie. Um I didn't really the only thing the only knock on the movie that I didn't like is like kinda what you guys said was that uh there wasn't a lot of fighting as there should be, you feel me? Like not enough Black Panther in a Black Panther movie. It really introduced right. it because I didn't really know much about Black Panther prior to, so I thought that was cool. It served that cool purpose to me. I like mm. the visuals and shit like that. So. Yeah, I like the my main knock was the pace of the movie yeah. and the fact that it was a whole bunch of Black Panther, like a whole bunch of T'Challa shit, and then immediately he's Black Panther. Immediately, spoilers, he gets thrown off the fucking cliff, and you're just like. Whoa! In the middle of a movie, it just that happened. To, it. I said spoilers. Get yeah, the they started like right after that. It's spoilers. Boom. Boom. Spoiler <laughs> warning. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, in, like within ten minutes, you meet Killmonger and he's throwing. He's throwing like that. That pace of the movie was ridiculously quick. Yeah. You seem like also like Killmonger was just a dickhead, an unstoppable villain. He was just like for like he was like unnecessarily, like, unstoppable. Like, he had no motive. He just went there to, like, fuck shit up and just, like, well, I, mean, motive, I kill you! His like, motive was, like, you guys killed my dad and left me in America to be that's true. shit. That's so, a, like, that's what's going on? That's another thing. That's a, and so a turn thing. is, like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I've never met you before, but, like... I really like that dynamic, though, because what they did was that they... they Wakanda's this mystical, rich place that a bunch of, like, rich Africans and stuff like that, but then it's, like... Killmonger, somebody that was in Africa or his ancestors were in Africa, and then they come here and it's like, okay, now I'm poor. So it's like, right. why aren't you guys helping me out? Because I'm poor. So I really like that dynamic. Uh, it really told a story within a story. You know what I mean? He's basically really, representing like America. He's representing the black people in America. In that's, the that's, that it's I like, think that's the only reference for that. And then like, there was random other throw in my dad, black kid never had dad shit. Well, I don't think it's that was different the only because it's only it's that and like it was different because his dad died. Yeah, his dad was but killed. It wasn't it was like, like his left. dad left. Yeah. But that's a, that's a, another thing he kind of represented for people. And I was like, that's cool. I'm glad they're representing something as American yeah. for this. But at the same time, that kind of goes into what you were saying about like a this isn't us, shit. but it's uh, it, it, it did us. It, it, did, it gave us something. But at the same time, I don't like kill. I don't like Michael B. Jordan as a villain. Really? So was, no. I thought right. he was. I thought he had a really good role. I thought he isn't. He's Michael B. Jordan. Uh, right. That's the thing. Killmonger. If a villain should be look like a villain, that's the thing. You shouldn't make a villain. No homo, one of the most attractive dudes. Like you heard it here first. Like 
Hey, no, we're like still that. not in the thing anymore. People don't no, say no. Really? People just say stuff. He's but at the man, same time, it. you're comfortable with your sexuality, yeah, right. definitely. But like, it's hard to make someone like him seem scary. It was only seemed scary because he just beat this nigga ass in ten seconds, and you're like, aren't you like a trained prince in combat? How do you get your prince. ass beat in two minutes of a movie? Yeah. I kind of get what you're saying because, he, like, most villains have some type of, like, uh, your your aura about you just already looks scary off top. He looked like a regular dude. He was in a, he was in a museum <laughs> looking at art with glasses, <laughs> a jean jacket Looking on. like a real-ass hipster. Yeah, right? he looked like a regular dude, like but a, he was here to fuck shit up. Yeah. And great also, movie. Forrest Whitaker dies for no reason. And bro, just throwing right. all the spoilers in there. <laughs> I don't care. Nah, he really did. Everybody's seen no reason. Everybody's seen this movie. Seen right. this movie. You do. Yeah. I, could, I was the one who got your father caught up. Come on, man. You didn't even have to say that. You could have been, <laughs> you could have been like, oh, no. <laughs> Hang on. Because everybody was getting... The dude was there to kill him in the first place, and you just jumped in to kill yourself. Basically. Basically. So it's Basically. Like, that was okay. weird. Um, man. Did anything else yeah. happen between then and there? I've been listening to a lot of music lately that I I mentioned that quite, quite a couple times, but... Um, what have you been listening to? I've been listening to... Mainly, uh, if you don't know, okay, I do want to start off with saying that fucking Sir, no, that November, that shit is still in rotation. I want to say that right now. I really want to say right now. I, I honestly believe, and I can tell just by its replayability. I'm, I think by the end of the year, that's probably still gonna be like one of my favorite albums of the year. Like, I come, de- come December, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, that was still very beginning. Still gonna listen yeah. to it. It has that replayable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And recently, a new Cause album just dropped. If you guys don't know who that is, that's like a dream that villain. Dream villain. Signy and um, yeah. really dope shit. It's affected, is what it's called. And um, there's like, there's a really, I've realized with his album, his thing, what he's good at. He's good at making his shit really catchy. He kind of has like that old school, not old school, but like early, early. 2000s catchiness to it like where maybe he might be saying some cheesy ass corny ass shit but like it's like you just like hopping up and down to it because like it's right. so fucking catchy right. like that song my fucking favorite song on the album is Freaky 45 um, which yeah. is literally about him like fucking a milf yeah but it's like the catchiest yeah, it's song. It's a great song. <laughs> yeah, 45. He got yeah. like background vocals. It's a great song. Every time he says 45, he's like, 45. How Definitely. would you describe his like music, like sound? It's definitely. How you describe that? He's really West Coasty. I'm glad too because, like, you know. Which it's, is different for Dreamville because Dreamville is. All East Coast. Pretty East Coast. Coast so. And well, Jid from Atlanta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's still East Coast. Hey, yeah, you're right. Exactly, but. I'm glad he brings the West Coast sound because he definitely does sound West Coast to you, but it's it's a, like half conscious, half like slappers, yeah. honestly. Because right. when I'm listening to this shit, and I can tell, bro, just like off the vibe with like the whole theme of the album, someone hurt this motherfucker, Cody Mack, bro. <laughs> Cody Mack. <laughs> this boy has been hurt because it's called Affected, and like even the, the title track affected is like about yeah it's about how people he have fucked, fucked him. him over yeah. like his entire life like he talks about his girl like wanting to <laughs> fuck his friends how his friends just want to steal his money from him how his family is fake and i'm like damn this is just like this whole like literally every album is like i don't trust girls because they hoes and like i just fuck like, them and leave them. hurt you like do you need a literally hug? like find some love you know what i'm saying but he makes great music so it's, but it's catchy as yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. The and entire Dreamville cast, bro. Shout out to them. Mm. Honestly, yeah. I, I, I told you about the, the Revenge of Dreamers. You guys can check that, out man. the fucking Dreamville, bro. They have some That shit came out in like 2015, too. I yeah. Like, 2016, something like that. But, um, that fucking, for the Flatbush Zombie fans out there, the Ooh. instrumentals came out. Yes. I thought that was just going to be straight instrumentals. Nah, There's like a story behind it. So Couple good. slaps. Really, really dope shit. You should check it out. Honestly, really especially good. if you're into like that kind of stuff, it's really relaxing to listen to instrumentals. He's just, that guy's a fucking work. genius. Yeah. I, I hope he does. I hope he keeps going with it. This is number two. I hope he goes and does more of them. Like, and he's releasing this like right by their other album. Like, 
<laughs> they just announced their tour today. Ah. Ha 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 ha. Man dark. Man dark. <laughs> cool. Um. Okay. So let me whip out the letter here. The Black Panther album went platinum. Yes, I did. That's another album I've been it's listening to every album. day. Uh, God's Plan just went three times platinum. What do you guys think about that music? Video? That music. Shout out to Drake. Aiden, Drake is so bro, dope. <laughs> no, and you know what's hilarious? I haven't even seen that music video, but Aiden told me about it and how like hilariously Aiden's cheesy. Michael's cousin. My cousin. <laughs> how hilariously cheesy that entire video was. He said it was literally just and I'm him yeah. like in front of like charities and shit. Like I make sure that's how society. Well, no, he's not in front of charities. He's just doing his like normal Drake shit. He's though, doing like, his normal Drake shit. God's he's dead. Man. But the fact that he this nigga gave away like a million dollars to like. A million, bro, but you're fucking gazillionaire. What's a million dollars? But that's a million dollars. That's what a million dollars is. One million? Drake, we're talking about Drake. I know. He's like, regardless, you're giving away a million dollars. A million dollars. I would take $50,000 right now. It doesn't matter. You're still giving away your own money. Yeah. Actually, it was a the label's money. money. It was the label's money. It was but, the label's yeah, money? Yeah, fuck Birdman. But fuck it. He fuck owes Birdman. Put it in perspective, though. That's like me giving like $10 away. I mean, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. The fact that you Kinda. Still, but the thing is, the video, because you, you go back and watch the video. I'm not going to watch that shit. How it's, it's give more money it's, than it's, me. It shows it's how he video. impacts other people's lives. Like, how? Because he went and like just like... Help families in need. Drake. Here's a million dollars. No. Was I so make sure that's how it is. Bro, you gotta check it out. No, you gotta watch the video. It because was so much more emotional. It was definitely like he had a million dollars from the label, and instead of like spending it on, okay, let's get the nice Ferrari to like a like, hotel room and got them, bitches. Bro. And blah, already blah, blah, blah. got all that. The shit. thing is though, like, and that's why got... he gave it away. It was just like because he don't sense. need any more. <laughs> if he really but wanted so, to give it away, he gave it. He gave it to. He gave people scholarships. He yeah. paid for people's groceries. He, 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 he paid people for rent. This bought cars for people. Like, he's not. Like, he's not. He's the first nigga to ever give some money away. But he like the way he did it was amazing. You gotta appreciate. He made a fucking. Like, you know dope. how much money he's getting off that video, though. He probably got it all back by now. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, he didn't have he to do it. Donated it like that. That's the thing. To... That's the thing. If I had, if I had, if I had hell money, I probably wouldn't do it. Bro. There's a lot of niggas that don't at all. So I'm yeah. just like Drake. I really fuck with him because that. That was Good dope. Job. Whatever, man. Whatever. Speaking of no. music videos, um. Like King's Dead? King's Dead music video. I loved it. It was hella random. I still, like, I still can't get over Future's part. Random. But I loved it. Slap on me, though. Yeah, that shit, you have me down. <laughs> I love that part, no. I hated it, but it was just like, man, that shit's it's dope. But I literally yet to have the Kendrick visual that I didn't like. Uh, Kendrick is like, when it comes to visuals and as far as performances, did, bro. Yeah. Kendrick's yeah. performances in general, but I would love to go to a Kendrick concert. I would love to go to a Kendrick concert, too. But at the same time, I've of course, there's no doubt, of course. I might. didn't like uh, backseat freestyle music video. If I don't you remember that like one. Also. To name one, it was literally That's just too, like too long ago. I yeah, don't that was remember. that was young Ken, uh, Kendrick. No, nah, it this, wasn't. Backseat was, freestyle. Was, this was a while ago. To think about it from now, I can't remember <laughs> that shit at all. Yeah. <laughs> like when did uh, Good Kid, Matt City come out? Like twenty fourteen. <laughs> 2014? I don't know. I'll turn it definitely wasn't 2014. Uh, I think, uh, once it came out, 2015, to Pimp a Butterfly came out. Yeah, it definitely came out 2013, 2012. Oh, this shit came out 2012. Yeah. yeah that shit, <laughs> seven, <laughs> that's seven, that's seven, six, six years ago. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. But uh, most of Kendrick's visuals, I, I, I used to hate on Kendrick Lamar, bro. Because mm-hmm. uh, you're a fucking Drake fan. I'm a huge J. Cole fan. Oh, J. Cole completely yeah, stunted my growth when it came to music for like because I started liking J. Cole in 7th 8th grade uh, I was I saw his his uh, mixtape the warm up on Dat Piff and <laughs> shout out to Dat Piff oh my god uh, if you're really up on the mixtape game I don't think y'all are like, no but no. not for that I saw it on Dat Piff in like 7th 8th grade you guys wanna hit this no nah I'm cool okay. but from like 8th grade to like 10th grade bro it was strictly like J. Cole so like uh, when Kendrick was coming up and he was popping and shit, it was like, nah, bro, J. Cole is that nigga. But Kendrick, as of late, bro, <laughs> his performances on stage are just ridiculous. Like, That's his, because his political he has that activism. fucking God mentality now. He's a he beast. He probably bro. thinks he could do anything, and he probably <laughs> he can. He can. See, Kendrick just like, Kaka! Start Get playing. wings and start fucking, yeah, <laughs> Kendrick man. is I like, believe it. Kendrick's like the Jay Z of our generation. Like, he's the. He's, he's the fucking Tupac of our generation. He's the Titan, bro. Like, there are three people. Tupac didn't last long enough. What? That's what I'm saying. 
What do you mean? Tupac's like you think Kendrick last long lo- his last No, longer? they both died. Yeah. yeah. Kendrick definitely lasted yeah. longer. So you're saying he's not even the he's the Kendrick of our Kendrick. He's the Kendrick of our Kendrick. He Kendrick okay. the longest Kendrick's been the top rapper is like unparalleled to a lot of fucking people. I think that is true, man. He's like fucking god though. Same yeah. with Drake. No, Drake is undefeated right now. Drake Drake is probably Drake longevity. Is, oh, of longevity of staying popular? Drake is undefeated. Drake is fucking ridiculous. But I'm like Michael face. <laughs> Drake? But I don't saying, it depends on how you feel about his music, but I'm just I, saying yeah. like as far as popping, pop, Drake's been popping since I was in eighth grade. He's been You're like, right. I'm talking quality. Quality different. I'm that's talking, like, talking about just like, talking art form. Okay. Here. I was talking, talking that's, like, that's subjective. So no, it's I love not, Drake. It sure. is. I love Drake. Yeah, but, but real recognize real though at the end of the day. But who's the Drake what's real. Right? The real. Right. Drake is still real. Drake is still great and Drake is still Drake. But I'm saying, if we're talking popping, like, overall, Drake has never stopped We're not Drake talking about pocket. We're not talking about pocket. But if we're talking about being We're not talking about clout, bro. We're talking we're about... Grace Rapper? We're, we're talking, talking about, about for, like, for, for the, the art, for the time. soul, for the... I'm not talking about that either. I'm talking about he's been at the longest at the top for the longest amount of time. Kendrick has definitely, like, passed a lot The of three people. untouchables right now, to me, are you going to have Drake, Kendrick, and J. Cole. J. Cole's getting touched multiple times. He's, he's getting touched clothes. all over his body. He's slacking a little bit because he hasn't he's gotten getting, a great project. Like, project. inappropriately touched. But as far as just, like... <laughs> He's th- he thinks he's so good that he's like okay if he doesn't release some shit and I'm like bro you're still like young enough <laughs> you're that, still like, like you still need to release some shit yeah Jay you Cole. can't just does, be putting but... two out two years in between each album and Why? dropping like because can, it's different you know, if you drop some shit out. in between what, what is he talking about he bro? drops like a single to pimp a butterfly dropped in 2015 damn dropped in 2017 that's two years but he did untitled and mastered before that but in nobody between. liked that it was a throwaway i, liked it. I, liked I loved it. it but it wasn't like i loved it people weren't popping <laughs> said, on no, it. He, i liked it it, it wasn't popping no, like that i liked that. it too i understand but it wasn't popping like that it was a throwaway but it was still it was still content J. Cole's not giving anything. He gives content. No, he doesn't. He, he didn't do shit. He does like between, a couple features. He between did 2014 one... and, and fuck. I don't even know the name of that album. For Your Eyes Only. For Your Eyes Only. Oh my God. You know what's crazy? I always forget that album. But Me I too, love J. Cole so much. It doesn't need to be mentioned. Because that album is like literally 2014 Forest Hills Drive 2. J. Cole started out like, and that's part of the thing that I'm a very disappointed J. Cole fan. He started out way up here and then like went up a little bit. Ooh. And then plateaued it like down like down here, <laughs> and it's just like Whoop. it's weird, Bow. bro. And I really love J Cole, and I really want him to shout out to J Cole. I need J Cole to drop an album. Cole. He's gonna watch this. That's why I'm chatting out. He's gonna watch this. But, uh, so yeah. Was, uh, oh, okay. You're gonna do that? No, I'm not. Cause oh. it's two minutes. All right. All right. So the so, gang was on that Black Panther album. I think we mentioned that the last episode. Well, who was the gang? SOB. Oh. SOB. <laughs> I was like, who? That's a perfect setup. <laughs> I feel you. Shout out West Coast. West Coast. Uh, we out here making. We out here noise. making it to. I don't care. I don't like. Them. Like uh, I can't even. I don't like them. Uh, no, I'm not gonna lie. I can't. Even I don't know why I brought it up. I don't like them. Big Shot is the best song on that album, though. That's what I know. I definitely agree with you. I love Kings is Dead, but that's fucking the one with SZA really grew on me. The one with SZA the first and song. Georgia Smith. Uh, the one d- I like the one with Georgia Smith. Georgia, Georgia is She's so fucking bad, Oh my bro. god, that's fucking crazy. That is a queen. They're all pretty Jesus. good songs, honestly. <laughs> they are, and I just yeah, I, I I'm still stuck on Future. Slap on my knob. Slap on me. Who who thought that was okay? In this no city? one. And Future's like, nah, bro. This shit slap. Nah, I'm this keeping it on there. Pour me up another cup of lean. Por favor. Por favor. <laughs> I imagine that's how people on Lean talk in Spanish. They say the first part of that sentence in English. And then think, please. It's like you just become fluent in a different oh, language. Oh, man. Lean. Are you going to have to reset it now, Isaiah? Yeah, you're okay. right. Perfect. Right, go ahead and do that. Cool. So, um, according to me, uh, we're going to talk about... Uh, what are we on? We're, Florida. We're on the... Florida. We're still yeah. on our week. We're still on our pick on um, topics of things that have happened the past week here. And okay, yeah. switch to a sadder thing. Right, right. Okay. This week. Yeah. So yeah. Last week. Last week. Crazy shit. Okay, yeah. 
Uh, did you guys see the you know everybody. the shoot everybody? Of course. <laughs> I'm actually if you, if you guys do want to talk about it just a little bit, I like I said before you this, stay away from I kind of I literally like I heard about it once and then I like didn't even because you don't yeah. want I didn't go into the it's detail. That sad. I definitely so open. what exactly happened? So basically, in Florida, uh, it was like, like in Parkland, Florida, high school, a. 19 year old kid just kind of went in and he shot up a high school so he saw so a kid did it it wasn't someone like no yeah was, he used to he's, attend the high school he got expelled from the high school and then he came back yeah he's a pretty fucked up kid apparently people have like reported him before saying all doing fucked up shit and uh having a bunch of like weird thoughts killing and cats and shit like that. he's apparently Something a really like fucked up dude shit like that okay. and basically he just went in and he just unloaded on this school he had an ar and killed uh, 17 people yeah, seventeen. He came in, he yeah, just killed bro. seventeen people. He injured. Oh my god! Injured, injured a shit. I thought ton it was people, like two. Bro. What the no, fuck? No, bro. that's why this is crazy. He went in with his AR and just started spraying that's in why the classroom. I, and everybody's just, gun control laws are just crazy. So bro. he literally was just mowing them down. Bro, it Basically. was sad as fuck. Damn. There was videos. People, social media is really weird sometimes because like when all of this was happening, because you know shit on social media happens quick. So it's just mm-hmm. like okay, this, but. People, kids that were in the school and going through that were putting that shit on Snapchat and then posting it on social media. So, like, uh, the first video I saw... Were they doing that? Bruh. Yeah. It happened, and I read about it, and I saw the breaking news, and I was like, okay, that's fucked up. It was scary as hell. Why are you snapping something like that? Exactly. I'm scrolling through my timeline, and I see a Snapchat video of some girl just laid out on the floor, and she's dead. And they're freaking out and Snapchatting this. I'm like... It's like that Black Get Mirror. Off of social media. What that the is fuck like is Black going? Mirror. That Black Mirror yeah. episode. That and they is were like fucking them around. Black Mirror. Yeah. yeah. I was like, call the, the cops. They did, they, well, everybody out. called the cops. Most definitely. But, <laughs> but they were like, and then the, you see the video. There's this video of this girl. Oh, they're in the classroom, and all you can hear is just gunshots outside the yeah. classroom. Like, but like. If I heard like that shit, bro, like, duty like, shit, like, like, really? like, like gunshot, blah, 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 blah. Like, it was, bro, it it was, was an was, AR. Yeah. So yeah. It was, um, so now the gun control shit is done. The That's thing, the conversation. Okay, so the thing is, I did hear about, I saw the tweets that fucking Donald Trump was saying, like, teachers should have guns and shit like that. Man, and I was like, stupid. that sounds like not the like the opposite of the, the solution. No one should have guns. I think, <laughs> I think there's two sides it's to not it. not possible. The two sides that people are talking about when it comes to gun control and it comes to, like, uh, shootings and shit. I want my fucking teacher to have a gun. Exactly. So it's usually, like, either let's put more guns into shit and let's get everybody to have guns so everybody feels safe, which to me just sounds stupid Stupid as fuck. Stupid hell, more people fucking die. Why the fuck would I want my teacher to have a gun? (laughs) Exactly. Fuck that. So it's either you do that, and people think that would just, like, deter people from actually going into schools and shooting, which no. it, it probably won't. Because people probably want to die anyways. Yeah, they're going in. They can get whoever they need to get while they're trying so to how do did it. that? how did that end? I'm sorry to, like, cut he, you off. He ended up getting arrested. You know what's fucking crazy? Yeah, arrested? You know what's fucking crazy? No, he didn't. He shot up the school and then left the school and walked to the nearby subway, ordered a sandwich, and then left the subway and, then, like, and got waited arrested. waited for the cops. Like, waited for the cops and just... They just put him on the ground, put him he in handcuffs. He finished his sandwich? I'm pretty uh, sure. <laughs> that shit's crazy. And they, yeah, I was like, going to say some out of pocket shit. Is that a question? Because, yeah, because, because, because this is our podcast. No, this is going to be a joke. That was stupid. Uh. And, um, this is time for stupid shit. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. But the thing about the gun control laws is just like, you shouldn't be able to purchase fucking AR anyway. You anyways, don't need that shit. You don't for right. any reason. Right. Whatsoever. Like... Right. Why do what you, you need to do with it? You're not gonna go hunting with a fucking AR. You're gonna shoot the deer one time; it's gonna explode. Like what? Yeah. The, like what? The, <laughs> what do you need that for, bro? Pretty like, much. But like, I was going over this in my uh, fucking my political science class. And this motherfucker was like, this motherfucker, my teacher was like, um, I have like seven guns, and like they should take them shits away from me. And I was like, oh, bro, you're good. But then he was like, in Florida. uh, the gun control laws is that, uh, well, let's start with California. In California, our gun control laws are that when you buy the gun, you have to wait wait 10 days before you can pick it up because it gives you time to cool down just in case you're trying to buy one in the heat in the moment. Really? That's yeah. such a like, weird, obvious it's, it's called a cool down period, yeah. so that way people, like, the shit doesn't like this happen. So if I'm but pissed off Florida, at somebody, I can't just go in and be like, okay, I'm a cop a gun and shoot them that but day. But in Florida, I mean, I you guess, can, but like. But in Florida, you can buy a gun and walk out with it within the same. 
five minutes. Because Florida is like fucking the South, damn near. It is the it South. Is the south. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, yeah. Florida's a pretty shitty place. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, 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 I don't. I don't say that a lot, but bro, like Florida, there's a lot of stuff that it, like Wait, niggas was eating faces. How do you faces. know anything about Florida? Just from the news. Just and news. Stuff. Yeah, there's oh, a whole bunch okay. of people, people were getting faces, eating bath faces, salts. bath salts. Well, that's that's the, people shooting people. Oh, the bath salt guy. That's no, Florida. I don't remember that. There's a lot of ate, the nigga who was smoking bath salts and ate people's faces. Bro, I don't remember. Hey, I was. When was this? Was I a child? This no, was, we were like in high school. Yeah, it was like bro, early high school. This does not sound like You're some shit. High. Yeah, bro. This guy. I am high, but I <laughs> would have remembered something like Florida that. Florida was crazy, bro. Yeah, but. What are your guys' opinions? You guys think that like we should we have some being? We shouldn't have. I think we can't get rid of the guns now because there's too many and there's too many hidden. But at the same time, it's safe to say I feel like we all agree that teachers should not. Teachers no. having guns is not yeah. the answer. Yeah. Not whatsoever. Right. I feel like. I don't know, honestly. The fact that this is, like, such a reoccurring thing. Like, it was such a rare, like, oh, remember Call of Mine? That was, like, one yeah. a one-time thing. And now it's, like, becoming, like, fucking one yearly. Stage. It's not even in the top ten deadliest shootings anymore. Like, for, for, for a long-ass time, it was, like, this is the most fucked-up thing that's ever happened in our school. So many more fucked-up shootings have happened that Call of Mine's not even in our top ten anymore. For real? That's and that happened in 1999. Yeah, that's how, like, crazy. recent. Yeah. To that figure about like that's not these are all in our lifetime. Yeah, we've seen most of these shootings come across the news, and it's like yeah. But Our like I, I don't understand honestly. It's it's more of just like I honestly feel like you you, you just there's something wrong with that person. You know, you will never yeah. know how someone could do something like that because like there's I can't they're see born so like, like go ahead. fucked up. You know, like that. To be able to do something like that, there just has to be, like, something, like, wrong with you, just, like, Personally. Met all around, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like, you just gotta be fucked up in the head to be able to, like, yeah. unload, execute that. Yeah, so, yeah, you're a dark-ass person. Do you, yeah. So, do you think that there should be I wouldn't even have, of... like, a solution, though, honestly. I feel yeah. like I'm the last person to, like, even be smart enough to fucking think of a solution it's to that. It's not possible. It's not a Just take away solution? all of the guns. I don't have a solution. I've all had a them. lot of conversations with, like, recently, because, like, kind of like you, I read it, and then I stopped. Because I read it, I saw that shit on Twitter, and I was like, okay, I don't want to pay no. attention to this right now. And I gave it some time, and I thought about it, and... I kind of thought about it since the last time we were in, uh, that shit, you know that shit in Las Vegas happened in November? Yeah, that just fucking happened too. That was November. like five, six months ago, bro. What the fuck? I thought it was in like April, bro. It happened in November, oh, bro. Since, and since you guys haven't, well, did you, since you haven't read anything about it, did you see like all the other like people that are tweeting about how they want to kill people? No, mm-hmm. what do you mean? There's like people that are like, they showed a whole bunch of tweets from kids at schools about how, like, kids have been like, oh, I'm trying to beat his record. That's some fucked up shit. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. Are they all, kids like, from weird. the South? No. <laughs> That's the fucked up part. These people are everywhere. Yeah. Damn. But uh, kind of noticing from, like, last fucking November with that like, Las Vegas thing, a huge argument that people have is that, like, a good guy with a gun will stop a bad guy with a gun. No. That doesn't work because it's, like... That guy in Las Vegas shot 500 people before anyone even found him and killed 58 people. And then killed himself. So it wasn't even like anybody stopped him. I feel like that was... He stopped himself. That was damn near, like, the first mass shooting that, like, really was, like, a real thing to me. That shit was fucking Because it was... How many... It was, like, 50-something people, right? 58 people died, bro. And 500 got shot. To think about, I'd like, that was the first time it really got put in perspective for me. Like, these people went to a concert, and, like, that's such a big number to think that just, like, you just know. Just shooting in random places. They're all packed in, just it's together. Just, you know, you the, can't the really escape time, that. You know, like, that, like, that went by for that to, like, happen. You were just sitting there, like, shooting for, like, a couple minutes. Yeah, bro. He that's had a whole crazy. arsenal in his room, bro. He had, like, hella, like, machine guns and shit. I don't like thinking There's nothing we can do to stop it. That's the problem I have. This is scary yeah, I don't think. Talk about. I, <laughs> I feel I like I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. I don't think that gun control is like necessarily the answer. I don't think gun control is necessarily the answer. I think that people should have the answer, the, the 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 ability to have guns. However, I don't think that people should be able to like purchase fucking mass weapons that can <laughs> take out crowds of people. Like that's just yeah. crazy. You don't need that. But the crazy thing about that is though, like, it's just a fucked up thing altogether. Yeah. 
We don't need the gun. In a perfect world, I'd take away everybody's guns. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not a perfect world. Why are guns world. even a thing? Yeah. When do those come around? But, like, I mean, I understand <laughs> that yeah, people, you know what I mean? Thousands of years ago. Yeah. That was, that was crazy. On the brighter side of that, and just kind of, like, wrapping this up, uh, there's a lot of cool-ass kids down in Florida right now that experience that shooting that are, like... But like, yeah, they're going protesting hard as shit. Hard as shit. They were in Marco Rubio's face the other earlier today, just like cussing him, not cussing him out, but going in on him, talking about, yo, I watched my friend die. Like, I had to step over my dead friend. Like, y'all are tripping. Fix some shit. But our government's Obama like, Obama tweeted about it. Yeah, Obama's hell cool. My president. You yeah, me? well, I mean, tweet, I wish he could do something. About I it. know, yeah. Obama, come back. No, right. <laughs> on the sidelines right now, man. Fact, like, like, sad. Bring Obama back. Bro, okay. But yeah. Uh, to, go, note. To, to go to a brighter note and just all right, switch our topics here since it's just our weekly things. What I've been going through recently is school. And with school, it comes. I'm in my cinema class and I had to watch these documentaries. What cinema class are you taking? Oh, fuck, like 11 or 10. I'm not really sure which one. Oh, okay. But uh, my teacher, we've always been watching straight, like, fucking documentaries about people. And so the first one I watched ever was about how people LARP. And that shit was hilarious. Well, nice, it's like role hilarious. models. You like role models, but these people that like they're like funny as fuck. like how they're Great losers history. outside yeah. of LARPing. These guys were like Regular actual people. losers. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> he was like, not what I was no, no, I was like regular this people. Dude no. was a, this dude was a house husband. He didn't have any job except for organizing the LARPing. <laughs> we out here LARPing. Or he had his own like I want calvary. To so bad. <laughs> I want to do it too, but these niggas and like this one girl was like forty, living with her like. At her parents' house with her like son, and just like, why? We why should, do you do this to yourself? We should honestly do like a group LARP. A bro, LARP, <laughs> we, should, LARP, man. LARP man. we should find a group, uh, a LARPing location, and go all out. Somebody like Yelp us or that. that shit, yeah. Yelp. Y'all know That'd any good cool LARPing fuck. locations? Just like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. But these LARP. people are so fucking serious about that shit. And then my other document I was watching. One of those we were talking about earlier was the fucking Native American one and how sad Indian reservations are and like how and like how so many people in uh, Indian reservations Native American reservations do co- <laughs> do cocaine. Whoa, there's Native American reservations still? Yes. Yeah, around, or it's they're, like they're, mandated they're, that they yeah, have reservations. They don't live anymore. They mostly live there. They right. have like their own sovereign states. I thought they states. were like extinct. Or that they just lived amongst us. I thought they Americans just... Americans were extinct. No. <laughs> what? Okay, no. I thought they were just like, they lived amongst us, like no. normal people. Some people do, yeah. but you can choose to be like, because a lot of them choose to just live among their own kind. I didn't know they were still around. Yeah. There's designated areas there's for these people. Where? All over the nowhere. place, right? There's hell, in, there's hell in California. We just don't go hell by them. We're, we're here, bro. That's the thing. Uh, the the are we allowed to go? Yeah. The Northeast, too. That's the one. The one that followed was the one in Minnesota. And all these people were like, "Are you allowed to like walk on there?" Like, I'm pretty sure they're probably man. like, dude, like, hey, what know. the fuck?" Yeah, they're like, "Leave, white skin." Like, sorry. Like, white skin. So hold on, you're like, <laughs> but they have. <laughs> they probably they, like, you hold on, you're a little shaded, a little have, shaded, a little too dark. That's <laughs> crazy. I want to see a real Indian dude. A, no, a real. They look Indian, like regular people. They look people. like regular people. They but, just separate themselves. Yeah. What do they do? They just like live in like live by them. No, no it's not like they're... they just keep their culture alive what? within their community. <laughs> I'm, so no. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm thinking of like an actual like they're not Amish. An they're Indian. not Amish. I'm thinking like literally like no clothes. Not, no, no. <laughs> like they're, face paint. They're they're not Amish. They're not. They don't live in their shit like that. Oh, they're just like normal people. They just separate themselves to be around their own culture all the time. Like, so they live in houses. Yes, they live normal lives. They're 21st century people. <laughs> <laughs> They're regular people. They, they just home. live they do. outside of... They yeah. live in their own area. So they so live like, in, like... They're basically right. segregating themselves away from everyone else, they except for so, the government so, mandated yeah. that the niggas live there. So, like, reservations when, like... <laughs> Sounds like paradise. When they were, like, nah. divvying oh. out land and stuff for Native Americans, they, they kind of, like, gave them their own space. So it was, like... You guys can live here. Is, that, and we'll is just it like take the terrible, rest of like Section 80 or something? Yes, it's worse than Section 80. Yeah, a lot of the communities are poor. Oh, I'm over fuck. here thinking it's like vacation. No, no. these niggas living in poverty. And the documentary I watched. Alcoholism and, yeah, it's bad, right? Yeah. I, well, I can only imagine some beautiful I didn't places, know, though. But I didn't even know it existed until now. Yeah, the documentary I watched, these kids, these kids were like literally like walking 
like imagine like a like a broke like <laughs> sorry a broke ass community and like all the stores are like like busted out all the windows busted out your own house is like busted windows spray paint on tagged all over your fucking house these people literally like lived in like below section 8 fucking living why, why, how did that happen? Because we gave them, we, we were like, we, we were like, if you want to go there, you can go there, but you're going to stay there. Yeah. Back <laughs> when, like, we first came over, we killed all the, like, these people, and we pushed them into we these like, small okay. sections. If you want to be by yourself, then. I literally don't that? know anything about this. Yeah, bro. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. And I didn't know much, but that documentary really fucking helped. That's a great, that's a great thing to check out. It is a good thing I'm to check out. I'm going to have to check, what's it called, bro? Uh, the seventh fire. I think so. What, what, what you're recording right now is there. It's okay. Oh, I can hear that. All right. Well, it's the seventh. It's called the seventh fire, and it follows two guys, and it's fucking. It's eye opening as fuck, and you're like, why are you guys all doing cocaine? You guys don't have to do cocaine. Come on. Now. You guys don't. That's the question you had. No, nah, bro. But it's no. like. No. It's just like why? It's like you guys' lives are bad. Why do cocaine? <laughs> like. I think that's just kind of like a symptom of just having a bad uh, life. Yeah. Drugs? Yeah. It a lot of people just right. kind of revert to drugs because, you know, their lives are kind of terrible. Yeah. That's how I started doing weeds. Start doing weeds. Start doing weeds. In I the, wanted to make it seem like I've weeds. never done drugs before. Out here do it. Injecting the weeds. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Sipping on some Sweeney, sweeney, that tween, tween, that tween, yeah. sweeney, sweeney, sweeney. <laughs> so um, what else? Um, Keeping with Netflix, what else have you guys been watching? Documentary. We were talking about Netflix. That's where I found the documentary. For that. Oh, so it is on Netflix. Yeah, the seven, called, seven Fire. Seven Fire on Netflix. So I'll definitely watch that tonight. Then. Okay. Okay. Just, You're not gonna like it. Aw. <laughs> it's sad. That's a fucking thing. It's sad. Well, I mean, if it's it's but real. You were talking about a documentary earlier. What was that documentary? You were the documentary about? I was talking about was called, I believe, Icarus. And it is about a fucking, like, cyclist who, like, he did... It's, like, bigger than the Tour de France. It's, like, Tour de some shit, but oh it's, it's, like, in Russia. And it's huge. And he... Basically, like, the premise, it makes it seem like it's about this dude... And it's really about, like, injections and doping. Mm -hmm. Apparently, like, fucking 99% of athletes in Russia, like, dope. Which is, like, you just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, like, literally, like, inject, like, fucking steroids in your body. And don't... You, like, it's not, like, actual doping. You just, like, inject yourself and then you get, like, more stamina. You become, like, a fucking superhuman, basically. Captain America. (laughs) Yeah, literally. It's, like, the fucking super soldier serum. And so, like... It's about him willingly go undergoing this test by, like, a Russian doctor. Mm-hmm. He's, like, doping himself to, like... He, it's basically... Uh, if For you guys who went to Fairfield High, um, if you've fucking seen um, Super Size Me, a documentary <laughs> they show you for, no, like, P.E. Yeah, yeah that's a classic. Show for all classic. P.E. Exactly. It's kind of like that. He's, like, undergoing these tests and he's doping himself... So he does a tour, but it's like, it makes it seem like that's what the fucking the documentary is about. And it like kind of does like a 360 and focuses on the doctor who's like giving him these injections and like how it's slowly becoming like revealed over there in Russia about like how all the athletes are doping and like it's, they got banned from the Olympics and shit. And so like, yeah. it's pretty interesting. I'm probably not doing a good job of explaining it, but you guys should go check it out. Sounds crazy. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's the reason why it got my attention because like the fucking like cover art of it like as soon as you scroll past it's like nominated for like fucking seven the academy why whatever Netflix, shit. Netflix is yeah Netflix. is it an original it's a Netflix original documentary originals are undefeated bruh right yeah, they're, they're, you never you can never go wrong of course check out fucking Mindhunter some random Netflix original show that I just started watching that like turned out to be like amazing Mindhunter is crazy Black Mirror, of course, everybody's been yes. watching that. Black Mirror is fucking crazy. Black Mirror is irreplaceable. Me is damn near like a chick flick. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, it's it's like a rom com. Not even. Yeah. It's like kind of like fifty fifty. A little bit mixed, kind of mixed a little bit with like. I think I might have seen it. Really? Maybe. 
it's sad. It's like this girl gets cancer and she's like planning out her. Kind of reminds me of Black Mirror too, actually, only because I think the girl is from, from Black, Black Mirror. Mirror. But uh, she's yeah. like, she gets cancer and they're like so in love and they've been together like their entire lives since they were like in first grade and shit. And she's like, how are you going to live life without me? How are you going to do all this shit you don't know how to do? And so she basically tries to set him up with like a girl mm. After she dies, so like she makes like a fake Tinder profile for him That's and like sad, tries though. to set That's it is hella sad. sad. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he finds out and Damn. he's like not really fucking with it, and then like he's like, all right, whatever will make you happy, and then you know it's like uh, the truth is like I'm not gonna be okay once you leave, and of course it's not. Sad as shit. I think any fucking that's so sad, yeah. right? But I mean, the very first scene of the movie is like her grave and her saying that she's dead. Oh, so you already know know that what she, happens. You already know she's gonna die. Okay. Basically, if I didn't establish that, but yeah, it's just you know, it's just some tearjerker shit. I'm into Netflix. emotional stuff like that. Oh, so. Netflix originals that you're crazy. way out of the Sorry. frame. Netflix originals that have been like a pinnacle for me that I'm like immediately drawn to. Probably, probably like top ones for me. BoJack Horseman. Bojack Horseman's a fucking amazing. amazing. I had to stop watching that. Uh, it was not this, that great for me. It Narcos was, was crazy. Did you guys see Narcos? I, still, I, I Narcos. saw the first season. Narcos was dope. I haven't finished the second I season. I haven't finished. I'm like it's almost amazing. done with the second season. It's fucking amazing. It, it, and you're just like, Pablo Escobar literally was at one point probably the most richest person in the fucking world. He owned a country. All yeah, the drugs. Like, that's crazy. The fucked up thing about that is that they still wanted him to, like, die and, like, get out the country the whole time. But he, that nigga, like, offered to pay off the country's whole debts. Because he could afford it. Like, but, like, I would, if, that I, if I was the fucking, what are they, the, the president? prime minister? Or probably yeah. just, like, I would like, like, okay. I would, like, <laughs> okay. And then fuck it. <laughs> like, the entire country. They fucked with him the so entire, much. Country, like, to get your country completely out of debt. Like, life, well, lifetime debt? No, like... All the debt that that country had accumulated so had to like, that time, he was like, I'll pay all, all that shit. They had like a couple Stop billion fucking. dollars in debt. And he was like, okay, I will write you a check for how much you need. And then here you go. And if you guys leave me alone. And they're like, nah, we want to kill you. He didn't <laughs> like, ask for anything. But he's like, let me just live here, bro. Like, <laughs> Stop trying to fuck with you. Yeah, they literally fuck with him so much, bro. And he tried running for a uh, politician. He said And they no. were like, nah. <laughs> and then this photo, this photo's been popping up all over like, social media now is fucking picture of this nigga at the White House with his son. Shit. Did you see that shit? That was the most gangster shit ever. He's not even allowed in the he come fucking country and this nigga's at the White House. <laughs> and he's just sitting there with his son and just like, what's up? <laughs> like, How did you get there? You guys looking for me? What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm right here. I'm at the White House. That's He's the best fucking... person. He's the, the most like, like, Influential oh, person of all time. He's like, say that, bro. He fucking killed hella people. He was a terrorist, but he, he was, was a nice terrorist. He was definitely a terrorist, but he could have done a lot of things. <laughs> he could have. Because he started out, he was like, okay, I'm a... I sell drugs. That's I'm going to sell drugs, but I'm going to give it to poor people. He's he's Al Pacino's fucking, like, role model. <laughs> he's a dope dude. Al Pacino. Man. Like, Scarface's fucking role model. And, like... I thought I used to think Scarface was a real person. Was Scarface real? I don't know. What? I don't no, so. no, no. But it's just a movie. You know what's crazy? I've only Come ever on seen now. segments of that movie. Like, I'll watch that the movie beginning. Is amazing. I'll watch like, super long. <laughs> that's probably it's why. Super no, funny. I usually fall asleep. Movie, it took me a minute too. <laughs> it's a great. I love the ending. Like so, the ending's yes. phenomenal. The beginning's the cool. Ending is fucking I usually <laughs> fall asleep in the middle. And I think like, Goodfellas is better though, honestly. Goodfellas. I haven't seen Goodfellas. Is that the one about like the mob and stuff like that? Yeah, it's like dinner, like Scarface, but like better. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen Goodfellas. I haven't seen any of the Godfathers. Godfathers. Uh, I, I Godfather haven't seen Godfather either. either. Yeah. Well, I've seen Godfather 1, so I don't... Fern I don't swears know. on his life like Godfather 2 is like the best movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> I hear a lot of good shit about that shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else? What else is on Netflix that's popping? Uh, ridiculously. Oh, Netflix original that's popping ridiculously. Like all of them? Yeah. All, all of them. Honestly, just like... Um, I'm I'm super into like all the new shows that keep popping up too. Yeah, like you got that love is cool as fuck. Bro, you're late on that one. But though. no, I've been watched oh, it. Okay. I've been watched. I watched you're it when right. it first came out. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the love is cool as fuck. That's like a really that good uh, 
that the Z show was pretty nice. I still haven't seen it. Master, of, Master None. of None. That's pretty nice. Master of None was a great With, one. The uh, second series, uh, season was kind of weird. The second season was weird as hell. The first episode is just him. In France or something. In right? Italy. He's in Italy. Italy, yeah. In Italy. And it's all in like black and white. And he's just like going around Italy and, and just, <laughs> just. And there's no talking. <laughs> Not at all. And you're just like, oh. This and is then when they do start talking, it's in Italian. And then, <laughs> yeah. It's so just then, like. He's like, okay, let's go back home. Sounds like not a good show. It's amazing. It's a, <laughs> the first season was like, I watched the entire thing within a couple, a week or two. I spoil, like, I spoil my Netflix watchings. I've been, literally been some shits, and I'm like, oh, great. Like, fuck. <laughs> I did that right. with BoJack. Yeah, BoJack was great. Man. All right, that's, how, that's what, kind of what I do with Mindhunter, honestly. You, you're, you're already done? Oh, of course. Damn. How many Bro, seasons is it? I don't know. It's only one season. There's a, oh, it's new. I don't know. It just, oh, it's I don't, like, see, I don't know about it at all. Yeah, bro, there's only one season, and I, like, went through it. Like, as soon as I discovered it, I finished watching it, like, the fourth day. I watched this new, this new show that pops up. Uh, it's like, called The End of the World or something. Oh, The End of the Fucking World? Yeah. I started that one, bro. I'm already on, like, episode hell. four, it's, but no. I stopped. It's, it's fucking... It was too weird for me. It gets really weird, but it gets it's way... too British. It gets way better towards the end of it. And it's about this kid and this girl go off in this crazy ass thing that happens. I don't want to spoil it, no. but this kid, the, the main character is fucking weird. But both He's those like guys come path. from Black uh, Black Mirror. Oh, they do. Oh no, no, the gr- the guy teams. does, and then the black lady. Wait, what are, you, are we talking about the same show, man? With the the British show. The British show about the dude who like the crazy kid. Yeah. And the girl who's also crazy. Yeah. I we're talking about the exact same show. What Black Mirror are you talking about? Um, who, the who kid, you... the the main guy, he's from. I can't. I don't remember. Black Mirror episodes. Black Mirror episodes are so hard to remember for me. Yeah, man. Just like specific. Ones. I remember all of them. They're I great. can't. There's not even that many, but I can't. I can't like pinpoint one. They all have their distinct like. They they exist separately, so it's weird to kind of like right. keep them. Yeah, it's San Juan Apparel, though. That's the only one that really yeah. is just like. <laughs> well, I feel like the equivalent of the San Junipero episode for season three was the fucking, like, the Tinder one. The one where, like, they're together for, like, it tells them a certain amount of time they're together, like... I haven't, oh. I haven't gotten to it. Ah, I haven't what? finished it. You bitch. I don't watch it like that. You I bitch. just started. I was, I'm like, disrespectful. I was like, this is cool. Oh, I'm, I'm not even gonna fucking spoil it for you. You can man. spoil it for me, honestly. I don't no, really expect bro, much different it, things from Black no, Mirror dude, stuff. It all kind of ends like, up sad. It's like San Junipero, bro. It's like amazing. I think the number one that San Junipero is the number one thing I want from Black Mirror like shit. That and then the fucking the the eyes one where the guy you can scroll through your history, your life, and like that's pretty shit. crazy. That's pretty awesome. I don't know how I feel. And about then that, that dude one. like went crazy on his fucking wife. That shit was fucking yeah. <sighs> but she and definitely cheated people, on that nigga. Blocking people. Oh, that blocking people one was. He thought crazy. his fucking. It was his daughter the whole time, yeah, and it was like an Asian oh my girl. God. He thought that he could get. That nigga thought he could get his life back. Yeah. And they were like, Nah, nigga. He you ended blocked up killing everybody. He ended up killing <laughs> the dad. Bro, that shit was crazy as fuck. That was a really good one as well. There. Yeah. Oh, damn, Black Mirror has has. Some it's just such a great fucking show. It's like the Twilight Zone of our generation. It definitely is. That's a great comparison for that. Yeah, that's Aiden told me about it because he's the one who showed me Black Mirror. Mm. Did you guys see Cars? Did you guys see Cars? Cars. Cars oh, 3? Okay, my fault. That was hella random. <laughs> you were Holy just on that? Shit. Cars 3? You know what I was thinking of? So I was thinking of... So, yeah, Cars 3 was on Netflix. But I was yeah, I've seen just like, Cars 3. Uh, what was I thinking of? In The Incredibles that's coming out, Brad. Mm-hmm. So, the trailer? How do you guys feel about that? The Incredibles are like one of my favorite. That's my favorite out. Pixar movie. But as far as like Ever. a new one coming out, do you think it's gonna be a great? Is. I watched that way too many times. That's the problem with that. Yeah, you're tripping there. That's my favorite one ever. It, I uh, watched that way too many the times. The Incredibles, it's up there. It's definitely up there. Yeah, yeah it's it not the I, best. It's, it's my, my favorite. Three. It's my top three. I'm not saying it's the best one ever. It's not top three. I think it's I definitely top three, but it's, it's not. Like, it's not the best one ever because I know other people. I know other ones are great. But I definitely know that I watched that one. No. Like, original Pixar movies are probably the best, except for Toy Story 3 is probably the best, but I like Toy Story 2 the most. Toy Story? Aren't they coming up with another Toy Story 2? Yeah. It's weird oh, when they keep pushing God. that... that. Least, that well, they're not getting movie, worse. Yeah. They're not. That's but what there's, like, except stop. Except for fucking, like, Cars 2 is, like, the I worst. I didn't see Cars 2. 
I didn't um, see Cars 2 either. <laughs> what? I saw Cars 1. Cars 1 was my Cause shit. Because I, I heard it was shit. Why don't I watch some yeah, of Yeah, but how did you guys see the third one and not the second one? I didn't see that one either. I just noticed it was on Netflix. I'm talking about Netflix. Oh. So I just noticed it was After on Netflix. After life is a highway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fuck. I'm just like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, my God. But uh, I think it's really interesting that we're talking about just Pixar and stuff, like uh, how... I fucking love Pixar. They're movies. very good at continuing their series. So, they're like, when it comes not. from, like... Except for Cars. I'm so, fine with every other... Cars. I'm very fine for every other, like, prequel and sequel. The story, the cars. story franchise is pretty cool. They don't usually do prequels. Ne- Nemo's Monster, really cool. Monster University. Monster but University But, yeah, that okay. took, like, uh, ten years for both of those movies to come out. But they did them amazing. They did them, yeah. <laughs> like, that's the thing. I was kind of disappointed with Monster University. It was cool. I liked it a lot. Uh, Monster Monster liked, was definitely Finding a Dory was nowhere near as good as Finding Nemo. Of course not, because it's no. ours. But it's Finding kid, Dory was kid, great. Imagine kid fi- first seeing, like, Finding Dory before they seen Finding Nemo. You're like, oh shit, this is a great. Finding of Dory course. Great. But we seen Finding, but we were the generation that had to shut the fuck up. Watch Finding Nemo, bitch. Like, okay. So how do you guys feel about, like, how do you guys feel about just re- reboots in general? Because like our generation is taking a lot of uh, movie topics from just like uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Nothing. That was the cue. <laughs> that was the <a> transition. <laughs> so, <laughs> how do you guys feel about that in general? Because our generation right now is just taking away from taking a different movies from prior. Like Jumanji just came out, but like yeah, this generation is also taking our Garbage. classics like Nemo and, and Finding Dory. Because they run out of good ideas, but reboots can be better. I didn't yeah. see. I didn't personally see it because I'm such a bitch. I hate scary, all scary movies. You're tripping, bro. That movie was actually fucking. What you didn't, didn't see it either? I, didn't, I don't watch scary movies, bro. Bro, it was scary, but it wasn't scary enough to prevent anybody from fucking watching it. I don't nah, like. Bro. I don't like that. I didn't I didn't give it a bro, I have so much. You don't understand though. The fact that it's so scary is good though. It makes that's, it a good. That's movie. fine. That, like the the, only, the best scary movie I've ever watched is the movie you showed me. Which one? The the one with the bagul. The fucking that's the, bagul. That's one of my bro, favorite sinister. ones because it because it's scary. And yes, it's just not like pop up scary. It is. It that, isn't pop up scary. Okay. It's fucking like but like creepy but, scary. But I have to watch like, things. I have to watch things like that. Like in the house. In a if I'm in a the, the the movie theater, I'm. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I, I gotta go. I gotta go to the bathroom, guys. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. Yeah, bro. Uh, I, I, I don't remember last time I will buy that movie, movie and we will watch it. I'm fine with... All of us. I'm fine with watching it here. But if I had to watch that where... You know, the movie theater is... Movie, movie theater is the original, though, right? Yeah, of course. It's just That's as good as the original, bro. It's the original was amazing. Was, we're talking about it still? Yeah. 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 The original was fucking amazing. See, the thing is, I have the original, bro. movies in general. It's not... That one's zero. Anything below nineteen nineties. It was made ninety five, bro. It wasn't oh, no, so it was tripping. Like, it's, it's soft as anything you know. besides <laughs> anything lower than two thousand. Sorry, yeah. is is not scary. Basically, but. yeah, <laughs> and it was a TV movie at that. It wasn't like a real. In- oh, okay. It's a cult so classic. It, it, there's a, there's a, <laughs> it's a cult classic. There's a level of just kind of like it's. It's, it's really good it. though. It's really good. It's really yeah, good, yeah, like story wise yeah. and shit. I don't and, even remember the last scary movie that I've seen, bro. Like, I, I, I literally avoid scary movies scary at all movies. costs. Bro. I, I really hate them, movies. too. I'll take that L. You can call me whatever. I don't. I can't watch. I, saw I can't <laughs> watch that shit either. Because I'm me. the anxiety of anticipation in a movie, I can't handle. Man. I'm just like, fuck. Like, <laughs> like I, 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 it kills me. Tripping. I saw that Insidious, The Last Key. That shit was damn near ass. I watched that shit, too. I actually watched that. I'd w- Drenia forced me. To watch <laughs> and I was like, you. this shit is, what? It was, yeah, it wasn't. It was like, why? <laughs> it was like, that really a key is, oh, his his whistle. Great. Yeah. <laughs> you went back for it? <laughs> like, <laughs> you went back. Why do you go back? What are you doing? Yeah, that was pretty retarded. And, but yeah, that shit was pretty crazy. What's another movie that's coming out? That's rebooted? Um... Like you said, Jumanji, and then... I don't know. That's already out. Yeah. I'm really excited to see Incredibles. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I would probably reboot. go to the movies to see that one. Oh, it's not a Ghostbusters reboot, but it's a... was horrifically I still bad. haven't even seen really? that. Really? Yeah. Still haven't even seen it. I barely saw bad. the first one, to be honest with you. That's amazing. It's amazing. You haven't seen the original <laughs> Ghostbusters, bro? It's I, like, amazing. start watching it and I'll fall asleep. I fall asleep in a lot of movies that don't catch my opinion. No, yeah, it is slow as shit. I don't. Like, I can't fall asleep when I'm watching something. Like I can't. I I generally like if I even have like a little bit of interest, I can't fall asleep. Yeah. It's too hard for me. It has to catch my attention immediately. Like I, I tried I watching the Hobbit. Asleep. The Hobbit was like 
two hours of just like lead up and the then the last hour I could not bro I was just like Ugh. that's the thing I can I, I can I can probably sit through like all the Lord of the Rings and like fine I will fucking sleep at the, within the first hour two minutes of <laughs> Man, that fucking just, movie okay. it's so long I, 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 I'm fine with like just seeing, completely just sitting through all that shit. Bro. It's too fucking boring, man. Like, shit, do some, like, cast a spell or something. Fucking mythical creatures that, like, aren't even, like, mythical enough to do interesting shit. Um, so just, like, piggybacking off of just, like. Give me one second. We're that, we never left. Boom! Never left. <laughs> I feel like we never left. Um, We're here again. So of just kind of kinda keeping it, keeping it pushing. Uh, talking on the topic of just like movies that we're like, our generation's taking from the previous generation and rebooting. We kind of mm-hmm. had that conversation. And then what what do you think some of the things from our generation that our kids would like the next generation would take, like uh like movie like movies, but like well we can go with movies or we can go like music. Music, of course. Yeah, let's, let's keep it on music. Yeah. Oh. My favorite topic. Of you course. My favorite topic. What, what Everybody would you, loves what, music. What would be a quick? What would be an album that you have to get off across your kid? That's like this is the one of my favorite album. albums of all time. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. We talk about that too much, but oh. that's it. Me, that's I like it is being born. We're fucking playing that in the fucking <laughs> in the operating room. <laughs> we're fucking. I would definitely. I'd have to. I might have to show my kids some Cuddy, man. My kid some cutty. I didn't mean have to say him, that. Have him but my kid some cutty. <laughs> that, <that's, laughs> I know. Oh damn! Dude, that's crazy that that happened. That's I didn't crazy. mean for. Anyways, yeah. Um, probably like just like man, the first man on the moon. I'm gonna be like, yo, this is, is some. Is sh- why would you show him that album though? Like, what about that album? Do because you feel when, like you have to. Because I feel like when I listen to it, that shit like slapped me in the dick, like metaphorically. <laughs> Like, you right this the shit dick. was like, I'm whoa, like <laughs> this music is like fucking crazy. Cause it's not, it's, I can't put it in a category. I can't put cutting music in a category. That music is just like, it just hits you right in your like fucking spectrum of, of life. Do you think it'll still be applicable when you have kids? Like when your kids generation. Yes, up and bro. Like, I feel like not. he makes timeless music. I can he still does. go back and listen to de- that album. I can still yeah. definitely listen to that album. In fact, come on shuffle. That's like one of the things I'm not skipping. I haven't right. seen Cuddy in a while, but Cuddy was definitely a, a, an icon. What, uh, what, what, what were we talking about? What, what were we talking about? We're, we're talking, talking about, about music. Album. Album. Oh, you have to pick an album oh, yeah. or a mixtape. Mixtape guy. I am a mixtape guy. <laughs> I mean, he's, I, that's just the, my my era of music, bruh. So... We're the same age. We're the same age, <laughs> but it's like you guys were in two different spaces, bro. Like I, True. I listen to specifically music mixtapes for like most of my adolescence, bro. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like more or less it's the same shit. We all got it from like, we all listen to it on like a Zoom. You got a Zoom? No. No. You didn't have a Zoom. You guys no. didn't. I did. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't have a Zoom. My Zoom wow, broke. It what was a awful. Nerd. That shit was trash. <laughs> I, I was really, I, I was so hype about my Zoom too. I was like, yeah, I got that new shit. You guys ain't got it. That shit. Oh, I had an iPod week. Nano. I definitely, uh, I definitely to just like took whatever I had to listen to and listen to it. I definitely was into like rock music for a period of my life. Isaiah was, it was I fun. actually recently just added in the ele- rock music I list, used to listen to. In elementary school, phone. Isaiah wore like fucking skinny jeans and like. I was on the hype before, but no. Like fallen, I just, just fat like, ass, fallen shoes, like fat ass, fucking <laughs> etnies. Yeah, etnies. Yeah, etnies. I was. I didn't know. Isaiah had like and the then tightest I had, jeans, and then I had like some J's. I'd be like, "Why do you, Isaiah? What are you doing?" And then I didn't. But it was pretty funny. What is what is the what is the mixtape or the album that you were saying you need to listen to this? The myself. the project that basically like. St- sculpted my choice in music as far as just like because I'm a huge J. Cole fan so it's it's probably going to be Friday Night Lights sorry Friday Night Lights was one of my favorite mixtapes from just like I could listen to that from start to finish and know every single lyric and it just it hit me at such a perfect time so I would for sure never heard it Friday Night you guys should definitely check out Friday Night Lights by J. Cole it's one of his best pieces of work it got him put on to Jay-Z is he fucking 
Jay Z. I want to do your laundry for you. Jay Z looked at these two mixtapes, the warm up and Friday Night Lights, and said, "I'm gonna give him a Rockefeller chain." That's and how then, great. And then he made a song are. about folding clothes. Don't. Anyway, Fox Force the future. But I would for sure <laughs> definitely introduce my kid to J. Cole. Hopefully he's still popping around there. Definitely not. Um, probably won't be. You guys are haters, man. No, this definitely not. That's I don't crazy. think Kendrick will probably be around when our kids are... Kendrick will be on for a long... Kendrick's I think Kendrick Drake like, and J. Cole... He's already going to not a levitate at that point. <laughs> he's going to be like fucking like... Kendrick, um, Kendrick Drake and J. Cole are going to be on uh, our kids for a while. Oh, the camera's about to die. We should probably... So yeah, yeah, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Um, wrap it up. Did we miss anything? No. We um, got, oh, that was our gems? Was that our gems portion? No. No, no that wasn't our gems. What's one song you want to put people on? Hidden gems. Hidden gems. Hidden gems. Yep. Bling. And then it does the Bling. thing. Hidden gems. What songs oh, are you guys okay. feeling right now? What, or just Not even in right general. now. Just in general. Oh, a just song. in general? Just a song. Of all time? Just, yeah. Of any, okay. any time. What's the song? Smokey Robinson. Of? Smokey Robinson. What the? The agony and the ecstasy. Ooh. Ooh. Or probably some Fuji's. Some Fuji's? Oh, you going back, man? I'm, just, I'm big. Even though we said go back, I was like, oh, Hidden gems, man. there's a Jay Z song that I got put onto. Uh, I don't know. I don't even remember where I heard it from, but it's called "In My Lifetime." It's Sir. "In My Lifetime" remix. Jay Z. You guys should definitely check that out. I, I'm not even a huge Jay Z rap fan. You've Love heard that one? Yeah. That's a great song. So, uh, that's even, my one. Even, I have to go way newer because I don't think of anything else. And this song literally pops up every day for me at this point. 17 with the fucking 38 by J.I.D.K. 17 with 38. That shit. Oh, what? Fuck you see that shit? That nigga, that nigga got his shit on Cartoon Network. You see that? Yeah, I did see that. He, that but, in the back of Dragon Ball Z, though? Like, come man, on, Man, he has a fucking Adult Swim deal, though. That's... Like, That's what do you amazing. expect? Of course they're going to use this shit. Mm. I don't care. That shit's cool as fuck. Shout out to JDK. And then our question oh, yeah. we have for you guys is... This section is called Black Alice Asks. Bling a different... And then we do a different little clip of something. Same. Well... Yeah, exactly. So we're going to go ahead and ask a question. And then hopefully uh, the 10 Check of you... Check our Twitter polls. The 10 of you will answer. Twitter and polls. And then we'll come back next week. And we'll we'll read some of the answers and we'll answer it ourselves. But basically, this week's question is: I don't need to pull it up. I remember it. But if uh, who would you rather share a table with, like a dinner table, if you went to a fancy restaurant, like a Red Lobster or like a Benihana's? Okay. And would you rather share a table with Jay Z and Beyonce or a table with Kevin Hart, Dave Chappelle, Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock? Chris Tucker, I believe, was everybody. Let us know your answers. Yeah. Out of those two We will be answering groups. that when we get back. Yes. That's an easy one. It that is, is a very easy one. Easy one. Definitely I guess it depends simple. on who you are, though, because definitely yeah. Beyonce and Jay-Z would be some... I'm interested. I don't want you guys to put that What on. do you guys choose? Definitely Let check us that know. out. Like, comment, and subscribe. So thank you directions. for tuning in to... And thank you for turning, turning in, tuning into the world's... I uh, know. The <laughs> only podcast... <laughs> The only, podcast, the, world. <laughs> the only podcast that cares about what you care about. Tell us what you care about. Tell your friends. Tell your mom's friends. Tell your mama. We do this every week?